All right, family, we back real quick. I got to come in real quick and drop a bomb before I go live with Pretty Boss. This is a this is very important. This is urgent. This is urgent, goddamn it. This is urgent. Bring your woo woo woo. Come on in here. Come on in here. Get y'all ass in here now. Get y'all ass in here. This is urgent. This is urgent, family. Come on. I'm just pulling up my receipts. Niggas out here talking about... Niggas out here talking about they molested they sisters. See? See, I'm on these niggas' heads. I'm on these niggas' heads. I'm on these niggas' heads. Niggas out here talking about they molested they sisters. What? 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 See? I'm going to play the... See? Y'all got the right niggas. Y'all got the right one. Y'all got the... See, I got to be quick because I got to be live with Pretty Boss in 15 minutes. But I got to put these on. I'll wait. Why y'all got me out here like a... Why y'all got me out here like a high school principal? Excuse me, young man. You said you did what? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Niggas out here talking about they molested their sister, man. Niggas out here... Other niggas out here talking about they gave their cousin friend some head. <laughs> Tell about they out here giving niggas a shot of head. <laughs> Okay, let me pause this shit. Why is y'all niggas out here talking about y'all giving niggas a shot of head though? Why is you out why is y'all niggas out here talking about y'all giving niggas a shot of head? <laughs> oh shit, let me read the motherfucking let me make sure I got it right. Cause I wanna make sure I got it right. Hold on, let me make sure I got it right. Okay? Hold on. Oh, he said his cousin. Not his cousin friend, excuse me. So let me let me lay the narrative, okay? Because we say, damn, nature boy, you talking all this pedophilic shit and all of this weirdo shit. Why is the niggas that's around you never speaking up? And come to find out, we got two niggas today who I'ma let speak for themselves. The reason these niggas don't say nothing to nature boy about the shit that he talking about. It's because these niggas is on the same shit. You got the nigga Musa, the same nigga who said he had herpes, talking about he gave his boy cousin head experiment. What? Then another nigga named Just, let me make sure I got this nigga name right. Just the Christ, this nigga talking about he got drunk and went into his two sisters' room and molested them. What? So this nigga Nature Boy whole team is homosexual pedophile. The whole squad. The whole squad. And so now we know why these niggas, because it's not no, no real nigga in their right mind going to fuck with a nigga like Nature Boy. Nigga, please. As soon as that nigga would have said a, a, a fragment of the shit he be saying, I would have rocked his ass. Nigga, you, you, what you, talk, you let your son do what? You wouldn't even talking no shit like that around me. And so that being said, now we know why. Because y'all niggas on the same shit. Y'all niggas on the same shit. Y'all niggas on the same. Let, listen, let's, let's, see, we gonna, we gonna play. First, we gonna go to Musa, right? And then we gonna hit the nigga who said he raped his sisters last. So let's go to Musa first. Now, now before I, I, uh. I, I I read to you. I show y'all the receipt of Musa saying that he sucked his cousin Wood. Okay, we just gonna show first. I'm gonna show y'all who Musa is. Okay, so Musa is the nigga that I had to crack his head when I made this video 
on my higher perspective. All right, you see this shit at 89, 89,000 views right now. Now this is and this I is Musa. Prove my point. One second. Now we gonna let's go. Now this is Musa. Musa is the nigga who said he had herpes. So not only is the women burning, the niggas is burning too. Now let's let me show y'all who Musa is. Listen. That's the video, family. You ready? Bam. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. And so you know, I want to share my story as well. Um, you know, when I was younger, you know, before I came here to be with my soul family, carbonation, I. Went to the doctors. I, I was dealing with a woman. I was, you know, that I was having sex with, and um, I was told that I had herpes. I went to the doctors. I had, you know, a little breakout. Another so one. Pause. Okay. So that's Musa. So don't don't be talking about some. Don't be talking about some motherfucking uh. Phil, you just saying people got herpes. They say they got her. I'm not making this shit up, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? Now that's Musa. Now that's funny because. Here go the receipt. And y'all might have seen that I posted this in my story earlier. Where I said Nature Boy whole camp gay. Now this is Nature Boy, right? Responding to him. Nature Boy said pretty much most have as children have had homosexual experiences, right? So whoever this is, Big Q and B, he said, no, I haven't, bro. If it ain't my father changing my diaper, I'm, he said, I must, he said, I missed it. Not saying I'm not sympathetic with victims of this. But no, sir, I'm not. So Nate, so this nigga right here, Musa jumps in. And Musa said, I had homosexual experiences as a child too. So what? I sucked my boy cousin's D word when I was super young. Was just experimenting, trying to find myself. At the end of the day, I'm heterosexual as fuck. Nigga, what? You don't suck no dick trying to find yourself, nigga. What the fuck kind of shit is that? What you talking about? I, oh, nigga, I was just trying to find myself, so I sucked some dick. <laughs> but nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? What kind of what kind of self is you trying to find? You know what I'm saying? That's not the shit you do when you trying to find yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you ain't even be like, you know what, I, nigga, I was, I snuck and was watching some porn or something, nigga. I snuck and found some magazines or something, you know what I mean, when I was a kid, you know, trying to, it's, that's, that's shit kids do, kids find their parents, you know, Playboy magazines and shit, and y'all you know I mean, be looking through, or you be up watching that HBO After Dark shit, when you know you supposed to be in the bed, you know what I mean, that's, that's shit kids do, when they sexually, sexually, you know, finding they self, you don't suck your cousin dick, my nigga, that's not what you do, I don't know what the fuck, kind of household you niggas is growing up in over there in carbonation but you niggas is sick but the reason i'm saying this is because this go to show you why nature why no nigga in nature boy camp ever check him because all of these niggas is on the same shit y'all all on the same pedophile homosexual wave period period and it ain't no motherfucking way around it excuse me and i'm not going i'm not going goddamn you know cut no corners now let's now that now that's Musa, the nigga who said he got herpes, okay? Said he's sucking dick. <laughs> oh, he said I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with y'all niggas. Now this video right here come from the goddess. Crystal healing vibrations. Shout out to this goddess. You know, I love her voice as well. Okay, I love everything about her channel. Let me show y'all her channel. Now, with that being said, I had to edit it because I wanted to get straight to the sauce. So, if you go on her channel, you know, right here, you, you see she's doing commentary. Now, me, I had to just edit the clip out where he said it, you know, so we can, you know, skip. Oh, she in the building. Shout out to the queen. No problem. But with that being said, I had to edit it so we can get straight to the sauce, you know. So on her channel, this video is about an hour or something long. You can go watch it, all right. This is her channel right here. Now me, I edited it out and I just got straight to the juice, okay. Now that's why you see here it only says thirty five seconds because I took the clip and you know I, I just got exactly what I needed. Now this nigga right here, let me show y'all who this is. This is this nigga, okay. Talking about I am. He said, I am God, disciple of our Lord and Savior, Elysio the Christ. Question, how the fuck you going to be God and then be a disciple of a nigga that you saying is your God? 
So this go to show you how confused and brainwashed and, 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 and how much of a cult this shit is. So this is the nigga right here who said he raped his two sisters. Okay? Now we finna play the clip. But I just want to emphasize that. How the fuck you gonna be God and then be a disciple of... How the fuck you gonna have a Lord and Savior and you God? That's like saying I'm water and, and I'm a disciple of a river. What, nigga? What the fuck is you talking about? So this just goes to show you that these niggas is brainwashed, cult-following ass, Jesuit, zealot dummies. Now, let's go. Let's play the clip, right? Because I got about eight more minutes for before we go live on YouTube, all right? And the link to that is in my uh story if y'all want to peep it. We finna be on Pretty Boss TV. Now, let me just play the clip of this nigga saying that he was drunk and he... He tried to act, he tried to finesse, listen to him try to finesse us, right? He said he was drunk and he went into his two sisters' rooms, okay? And I'm gonna let the let, I'm gonna let the rest play out. Listen to this nigga. I remember being really drunk. I remember being really drunk. And Here we go. I went into my Babylon sister's room, two sisters. I went into my Babylon sister's room. Hold on, I'm, I got an ad lib. I was really drunk. I went into my Babylon sister's rooms, my two sisters. Now let's continue the story. If I touch them safely or not, I can't, I can't remember. I don't know if I did or not. But I went into a space of, like, super guilt, super guilt, super shame. Because I know that one of the worst things you want to be labeled as is a pedophile. Now let me run it all the way up from the top. So y'all can hear it all the way through. Here we go. I remember being really drunk. And Here we go. I went into my Babylon sister's room, two sisters. And I'm not sure if I touched them sexually or not. I can't, I can't remember. I don't know if I did or not. But I went into a space of, like, super guilt. Super guilt. Super shame. Okay, okay. Now, I have to make some points that when you go to Crystal Healing's uh, channel to watch that, you'll see she made the same points. And in fact, as I was watching that video, exactly what, as soon as I was finna think, as I, exactly, what, exactly what I was thinking, she said it. And what she said was, why would you be giving a confession to some shit that you allegedly don't remember? Nigga, please, you know what the fuck you did when you went in them rooms. So what we want to know now is, where is your two sisters at? Somebody find this nigga two sisters so that we can ask them, did this happen? Since he somehow don't remember because he was drunk. Because I tell you what, you don't feel guilty about some shit that you not sure if you did. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker might be like, young Pharaoh, you told me shut the fuck up last week. If I was drunk and I don't remember, I'm not going to feel guilty. I'm like, nigga, I don't even remember that shit, bro, but I apologize. But I'm not going to feel guilty. You feel guilty because you know what the fuck you did, nigga, out of your motherfucking mouth. The fact that you said I was drunk and I went in a room and I don't know if I touched them or not, but I just know I feel really good. Who the fuck you think you fooling, nigga? Let me tell you something. I want you to shoot a motherfucker, hypothetically speaking. I dare you to shoot a motherfucker and then go into the goddamn detective's office on first 48 and say, I was drunk. A argument ensued at the club. I pulled my pistol out. I don't remember if I shot a motherfucker. I just remember feeling like I killed somebody. What? Bitch, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. What the fuck kind of statement is that? Oh, I was I was drunk. And I was at the club. And I, I remember a nigga had, you know, said he wanted to fight me. And I remember I had pulled out my knife. And I don't remember if I stabbed somebody. I just remember a nigga got stabbed and his blood was on me. And I felt really guilty. You going to jail? Who the fuck you think going for that dumbass? I was drunk. And I went into my two sister rooms. And I don't remember if I molested them or not. But I just remember when I came out the room, I felt really guilty. Why would you feel guilty? Unless you did something to feel guilty about. See, that's the problem with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas think y'all... Y'all niggas... Y'all niggas must have never took pimp class. Because y'all niggas 
Pimp Talk 101 Finesse game is like negative three. Like, y'all niggas is failing. Y'all niggas is some idiots, okay? But the point I want to make is before I get off this live stream, and I'm saving this and uploading this shit right to my IG Live YouTube channel. So go subscribe to YP, I, excuse me, YP IG Live on YouTube. The point I'm trying to make is this. The reason these niggas don't check Nature Boy, we now you know. Because all y'all niggas got a little bit of sickness in y'all niggas. All y'all niggas got a little bit of weirdo in y'all niggas. So y'all niggas, birds of a feather flock together. I wouldn't be surprised if Nature Boy handpicked you motherfuckers to be around him knowing that y'all was just like him. That's why he feels so comfortable talking about some reflection. Because when he say reflection, you, you he see you in him. He see the homosexualism. He see the child predatory, the child predatorial traits. Okay. He see the rapo traits. Okay. So y'all really is his reflect. That's why I don't none of y'all niggas stand up to that nigga. Cause y'all stand with that nigga. This is why all y'all over there having sex with each other. Cause y'all are burning. So y'all don't give a fuck. And y'all comfortable. Because nigga, if I wasn't burning, I'm not having no sex with nobody that's burning. Motherfucker. You're not even drinking off me. You better get the fuck out of here. Fuck is wrong with you? Reflect your motherfucking ass. And so, with that being said, family, y'all niggas is nasty. Y'all trifling. Tri and y'all need to stay y'all ass the fuck over there. I hope they don't even deport you motherfuckers. I hope they keep you hoes right there where the fuck y'all at, you nasty bitches. Y'all some nasty motherfuckers. But with that being said, you got a nigga who talking about he was sucking his cousin. <laughs> you got a nigga who talking about he was, he was sucking his cousin a little wing wing. Talking about he was experimenting with himself. Then you got another motherfucker talking about he was drunk and went in his sister's room and don't remember what happened. Bitch, what you, who the fuck you think, nigga, where you think they buying that story at? That's not, ain't nobody buying that. J.J. Jameson ain't paying for that. You better go out there and take some more pictures, Parker, because ain't nobody paying for that at the Daily Square. And so that being said, you better get that weak ass story out of here. So we're going to end on this because I'm going to go on YouTube on Pretty Boss TV. Meet me there. The link is in my story. Y'all, all y'all niggas weak, weird, wicked, and weak. And all y'all niggas are some sick, homosexual, burning motherfuckers. And this is why all y'all bitches block me and don't want no heat, don't want no smoke. Because y'all niggas know exactly what y'all about and who y'all are. And y'all niggas scared to get exposed. And so that being said, I'm uploading this live stream to... Okay, to my YouTube, but I just want to, oh, here go Pretty Boss right here. Pretty Boss, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I just told him I'm on my way. And with that being said, I'm uploading this to my IG Live YouTube channel. Don't miss it. But I just want to say this. How can you rape your own sister? How can you molest your own sister? Nigga, what kind of demon are you? How can you molest anybody at that point? You know, for that, you know, for that matter. But how can you view your sister sexually? See, y'all niggas got a different type of demon in y'all. Y'all niggas got a different type of demon in y'all. And don't worry, because I'm going to exercise that motherfucker right out you bitches. Right out you bitches. Right out you nasty bitches. And so that being said, I'm saving this live stream. I'm uploading this motherfucker to my... Go subscribe right now to YPIG Live so that y'all can peep this stream. Don't let it go nowhere. Save it in case they try to delete it. Because you know how these niggas do. We keep all receipts on these niggas. Niggas out here talking about they was drunk, went in their sister's room, molested both their sisters. You's a fucking sick weirdo. Other nigga talking about he was sucking his cousin dick. Y'all niggas are some weird ass nasty bitches. And that's why all y'all niggas in carbonation don't say shit to nature boy. Because all of you motherfuckers have a small, have a, have a large uh, amount of fuckery inside of y'all just like he got. And with that being said, family, I'm going on my way to Pretty Boss TV. Get with me. We finna go live and turn up on Pretty Boss TV. With that being said, love y'all. Peace. Holla.